What happens when stupid people voting like they're drunk? Come on, let's talk about today's crazy events. Maybe someone forgot to put the train block back in. This is why you needed to hire a captain with a lot of experience. When a storm rolls in, how will you keep your boat safe? Your worst nightmare may come true if the boat went down in its anchorage. He clearly still hasn't mastered the art of properly launching a boat from the ramp, since he's now experiencing some difficulties. When you make a decision to move in the incorrect direction but continue to go anyhow, this is what you end up with. There are always individuals who are so idiotic that they park their bus in places where they shouldn't be, and it would be a waste of his day. The storm had shattered the side of his boat, and he would have to pay to have it fixed. Indeed, his boss name is very amazing and is likely to be named most impressive for the year. Let's see how this clumsy guy handles that rope. Yes, he will also throw out the boat by the skewer throw. A skilled fisherman will always be able to ride out any wave. Give me a thumbs up. So he has a nice shirt. I thought he was a pro, but I was wrong. Thumbs up, I got consent. Consent was given no. When a strong storm quickly hit the land, these people couldn't find a safe place to park their boat. After the storm was over, they were like to still be safe. More people who are not responsible for their children, the trial was almost tossed overboard. It would be very bad if that happened. into this wild animal's area and it is trying to scare him away maybe that it wasn't his best day for fishing Mods are always a problem for inexperienced captains who don't know how to figure out where it's hard and pay attention to the tires In any case, it seems like the boat got lost somewhere out there, and here is the motor of the boat. Check this guy out. All three axles are holding on with straps, ratchet straps. Look at this. He's using a disabled trailer to transport a pontoon boat. How dangerous this could be in the street. Look at the beam on this trailer. Cracked in half. I'm quite concerned about his boat. He's a reckless and careless guy. People like this are crazy, bro. And you see these people in the marinas every day. Well, it seems that this guy is in a perfect position to catch a lot of fish. But many others would undoubtedly think he's an idiot with stupid eyes. Let's find out how careless this man is, shall we? He would likely regret taking the boat out on the road due to the loose connection. Always be careful while sailing at high speed since you might be flung overboard at any moment. This careless captain failed to put the fenders away once the boat was out at sea, which made me worry for the people about the boat since they had an awesome mud captain. Anything can happen when stupid people own the boats. Yes, it looks like this captain had a lot to drink and the problem he caused was not small.
Hey buddy, watch out, you're standing on the board that isn't stable at all. Yes, and he looked silly in front of the camera. <laughs> that cotton did drive the boat like he was drunk, and the other boat couldn't escape the crash. Hope everything is okay with everyone. Let's find out what this guy with the big ass is doing. Soon as he was pulled away, I realized it was a bad idea. Luckily, he was fired after that fall. This guy had a funny and quite a dangerous situation when he dropped his kayak on the road. Fortunately, no bother things happen as a result of his stupidity. Yes, another morning was a boat stuck under the bridge by that bimini. He is coming ashore with confidence, although it seemed a little overdone. Yup, he was vanquished not by the game but by a fierce. Everyone is always happy and excited when they play this exciting game. When everyone is kicked out in this way, it will be more fun. She was still very focused on fishing, so she didn't know that someone was playing a joke on her. Pay attention to the person behind you at other times when you're fishing. Yeah, I'm sure this guy forgot the block, and their last attempts to save the boat seemed to be too late. Hopefully, they will remember this lesson well. I guess he must think he caught a big fish. It seems like nobody is getting tired of this joke. When Darwin was very close, yes, things could have gotten much worse. I hope so. It takes a long time to learn how to balance on a surfboard, which is not easy for beginners. <laughs> Pontoon boats, which are designed to go smoothly over the less plastic surface. Aglioni not equipped to honor these rough seas. They were holding a memorial service for a deceased person when the damn dog nearly ruined it. There was some razor and aggression between the guy on the board and the guy on the land. Sometimes, the eaters on the board also know how to make others angry. Oh, it was a close call. Luckily, he got his pilot back and kept her on performing. Do you see anything special? This guy is not using a trainer since he is launching his boat with a tow truck. What a crazy idea! But the boat is already out on the water, so it doesn't matter. Putting out into the water with a kayak must have been challenging for him, and now we wait to see whether he will be successful. These guys told a boat and here they are. It was a sinful thing and they would get caught sooner or later. Yup, he's ready to rip things apart when he gets in the water. 
when it is too hot and he needs a cooler place to lie down. Are you wondering what he's wearing a luck jacket to prepare for? Well, his propeller got tangled in the fishing line and now it's his special mission. Yeah, this is quite impressive and his boat runs through the mud with either with his super powerful engine. This is incredible, you will need a fishing pole at Lake Peoria since the cup will get into the boat on their own. One boat caught fire and sank, now it's being salvaged, but something unexpected occurred when the boat caught fire again, shocking everyone. They were building to a small field with tens of thousands of crocodiles. If their boat breaks down, then what? No, I can't even imagine it happening. When you ride a jet ski with a girl behind you, you will show your skills. But sometimes because of that, you make mistakes. If you are careless and stupid, you can get your boat into trouble. This guy's boat is stuck and he can't get out. This guy had a bad day when his car sank all the way down the boat ramp. I don't know the whole story, but every time he launched the boat, he thought it's something important. It seems that the faster he tries to throttle the boat, the more trapped he becomes. It's best if he gets some assistance as the overlooking the motor might be disastrous. When she thinks she is strong enough to hold the trailer on the ramp, but she made a big mistake. She was okay and the mailbox helped slow down the trailer so it didn't hit the car. I love the way these guys launched their boats in order and powerful. They will have a trip full of fish. Wow fantastic boat with four powerful motors. always have a lot of trouble with their cars at both ramps. It's an aluminum boat and you know it can take you anywhere but beware of the reef. Well, she has a good job. His performance is astounding. He's turned from a yes keys into submarines. Well done, Lord. Both had to be left behind because his owner didn't secure it properly. When they chose to live in the boat, Things went wrong, and since then, they haven't been able to get on the boat again. To climb on this banana boat, you need to have a technique. It's often not easy for new beings.
I have no idea what we came to there, but the rescue squad may not make it there in time to save them before their boat fully sinks. What brought this shark to this area? It seems that many people will be anxious. The inebriated patients on the boat should probably be cautious in light of this. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell and leave a comment. See you again tomorrow.